Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be going over an image that was um, posted, not leaked, but just kind of like revealed by um, uh, Raven Software on Twitter. You probably missed the photo, but if you did see it, you probably still missed the detail, which is his bucket cap. Um, his bucket cap using a camo we've never seen before, therefore it's probably a character model we haven't seen yet. Um, if we're going to go over his camos, I'm going to start off with this one right here. This is Storm Camo, otherwise known as Forest Camo. Um, it is a more modern version, I guess you could say, of an old camo we used back in the day called um, Woodland Camo. And Woodland Camo had a bunch of random shapes, but this one has shapes similar to uh, leaves and sticks um, within it to seem more um, familiar. Um, but this is obviously from the first Modern Warfare. I think he also wears it in Modern Warfare 2 a little bit, but I'm not sure. I know for a fact this one right here, Tricolor Desert uh, Camo, he does wear in the first Modern Warfare, and he does wear in Modern Warfare 2. Um, I'm sure you all remember this uh, camo. Um, but the next camo is um, Urban Digital, as everybody calls it. But it's actually Universal Camo Pattern, or um, Army... Uh, combat uniform pattern, ACU pattern. Um, we don't use this anymore, but I'm pretty sure uh, he was wearing this in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3. The reason this is all interesting because these are all the camos we've seen him wear. We have not yet, though, seen him wear this in-game, which is the Woodland camo I was telling you about, which is an older camo. And... Um, <coughs> And he's wearing he's wearing this in the in the photo uh, cap that we haven't seen him wear yet, and this is the character model from Modern Warfare Remastered, by the way, um, which is obviously probably going to be the character model they use in Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, or at least very close or similar to. Um, but the last time we saw him wear this was in this photo right here, which is an old photo of him in the storyline. But the reason I know that this is. Um, woodland camo is because Infinity Ward actually made this photo out of an existing photo of a soldier named Jim Short which is right here and everything lines up the things in background uh, in reference to his beret the beret itself the black lines and the camo and the collar everything matches up this is the photo that they um, took it from and if you don't know who Jim Short is, he was somebody who served in the military for like just a few months and then quit and then made a career out of lying about all the amazing things he did in the military. Right here we have another photo of him wearing the, uh, the camo pattern. Obviously it's a different uniform, but it's the same camo pattern because that's the camo pattern we were using back in the day. Um, woodland camo was used from 1981 to the late 90s and was siphoned out and replaced... Um, uh, I think in like 2004. Um, so either way, uh, Price wearing that camo would have been him, I guess, you know, well prior to the COD 4 storyline. And I'm not saying that Modern Warfare 4 is going to take place before all the other storylines, but I think there will be some flashbacks, or it might be flooded with flashbacks, kind of like Black Ops in a way. Um, all I'm saying is that flashbacks may take up a noticeable portion of the game and the reason I think a lot of people missed this or didn't really pay attention is because it was slipped into this cheesy Valentine's Day photo and everybody's like okay it's Captain Price and the dog from Ghost no big deal it just kind of went away but I don't know that kind of caught my eye um, also I want to point out um, I never really talked about it much but I did this poll a while back and I never made a video asking uh, you guys your opinion on the outcome the outcome was pretty even across the board the poll said do you think the villain in Modern Warfare 4 should be a descendant of a previous villain or do you think it should be a completely new villain um, and so the options were descendant of Zakaev and Makarov descendant of General Shepard um, or a completely new villain and Zakaev only lost by like a couple of votes and the rest were tied so um, do you guys agree with this? Do you think that uh, it's safe to say that no matter who the villain is, fans are going to be happy? Or do you think that it has to be a certain villain? Please uh, comment um, in the bottom. Give your opinion, your feedback. Keep the conversation going. And I will see you guys next time.